I'm, uh, I'm about to go paragliding, which is something I've never actually done before in my life. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Hey. Okay. <laughs> It's about the second week after the sort of the new normal has begun here in Bali. So we're about to leave the house and go visit New Studio. What do we expect to see there? Paragliding. Par <gasps> Paragliding. Okay, all right, let's try that. So we made it over to, uh, to this paragliding spot in Nusa Dua. This is called Gunung Payung. I thought it's right next to a temple over there. And, and we're just having a little lunch of uh, babi guling. Babi guling. Babi guling. What is in there? I like it. A lot of nice beaches. The cliffs are pretty amazing and there's a reef. Inside the reef, we've been told that there's manta rays, there's, uh, there's manatees. There's all kinds of sea life. So hopefully we get this chance to do some paragliding and we'll see what it looks like from up above. Yeah. Uh. The shoot over there. And I guess after the pilot gets everything ready, I'm gonna go up in the sky. So this is the parafoil. And uh, I guess I'll be flying over there. So all right, so I'm about to go on the paraglider. Okay, cool. Okay, ready? Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Just went up on the uh, the paragliding trip, and it was pretty much amazing. Um, I have no words to describe that feeling. It honestly feels like like you're just floating. Um, it feels like like maybe the way birds feel or something. So truly, truly magical. I think truly another. I'm I'm like almost 40 now. Nothing really gets me that excited these days. But that that was. That was next level. That was super cool. So, yeah, Bali paragliding is awesome. Kind of. I it's know. amazing. It's amazing. Ready? Okay. Enjoy. One. One. Again, how was the flight? Uh, uh, fun. Yeah, fun. What's the first sort of reaction that you have after landing? Um, okay, so to put this into some context, I was just paragliding, and Dewey and I were just standing here talking about some of the techniques of paragliding. Like, for example, there's a there's like a fence and a boundary, and you can't really fly beyond that otherwise it it goes down and you can the, are these called thermals the up like no the, the, this is coastal air this is coastal air coastal okay. lift it's just dynamic lift so uh -huh. the, the air is hitting the cliff right and then coming up and making a, a big giant air bubble okay and we ride on the top of the air bubble and as long as there's cliffs you can ride continuously as long across. as there's cliff uh -huh. that's pointing square onto the wind oh right right okay right. so Got the it. wind has to be hitting directly if it's coming from one side or the mm -hmm. other if it's coming from the east or coming okay. from the far west right. then it limits the distance that we can okay. travel when the south in this case in bali when the mm -hmm. wind is straight south it's even all the way along the cliff so you can go as far as you want in that's either. right that's right that's right okay so it's a north wind that's or coming from the south going to it's the a north south wind moving okay. moving to the north okay got it okay. how often do you get conditions like that here in uh, this, this is 
in Bali, it's good from April until October. So, so we're in the right, right, right it's time. It's a really long flying season. Okay. Sweet. Better than it's a longer season than anywhere in the world. Uh, last year, a group of albatross came here, and it's a very <laughs> rare occurrence. Okay. You know, we were really surprised at the size of the wingspan. Which okay. Is just enormous. Yes. And the one thing I noticed most is they spend the most of the time they're in the air. Most mm -hmm. of that time is spent preening. Yeah, they're probably they're, they're probably meditating too. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're cruising. How I learned to fly, or how I, I developed my skill set, was okay. when I first started was just observing the birds and how, okay. and then just following them. Okay. What I learned is that in, if you look at most paragliders, they crisscross in the sky like this. Right. On the lift band. Yeah. And you know, That's what this we're is doing, yeah. But what I learned from observing birds, they don't do that. They use micro lift. Okay. So they'll go like this, and then as soon as there's a little bit more lift, uh -huh. they turn onto it. Okay. And so sometimes it could be a meter, half a meter, two meters, five meters, uh -huh. and a hundred meters, and then back to one, two, oh, five. Oh, wow. Three. Okay, so they're very they're, efficient. They're, they're super, super efficient in using micro lift. It was basically the weekend of paragliding. Uh, out there, travel and come to Bali. Get out there and explore.